when Alaric, leader of the Goths, settled his people inside the northern frontier. He wanted a dignified coexistence with Rome. Alaric spoke Latin fluently, was well-read, and not about to be dismissed by pompous Romans. We tend to think of the barbarians as a collection of Conan the Barbarian and his buddies coming across the frontier waving their double-handed axes. This is quite far from the truth. By the time the barbarians come across the frontiers, they're beginning to be Romanized. Alaric, who sacked Rome in 410, did so because he was turned down for a job as a Roman general. What these people wanted first and foremost was a place within the empire for themselves. And when they didn't get it, they turned on the government of the emperors. But Rome had still not learned its lesson. Instead of building diplomatic relations with the Goths, local governors systematically insulted, starved, and overtaxed them. Alaric sent letters of protest to the emperor. They were ignored. When Alaric and his people finally descended on Rome in 410 AD, it was not to rape and pillage, but to drive home his people's protests and demand the decent treatment they'd been promised. To his surprise, as his army swept through the heart of the empire, there was hardly a Roman soldier in sight. The truth was, many Romans were no longer prepared to fight the barbarians. Some even welcomed them. And so in the year 410, for the first time in almost a thousand years, Romans awoke to find an enemy army camped just outside the city. They couldn't believe it. Alaric's demands were reasonable. All he wanted for his people was part of the Danube River Valley in what is now Austria. Rome refused. 